Hello and a warm welcome to another episode of The Head Coach with me, Daniel. It's Season 3, Episode 8, and today we play our crucial final game of the season, which will determine whether we get in the playoffs or not this season. That's right, for the first time I think on this story so far, the last day of the league season is actually a crucial one for us. We're playing mid-table Blythe, who can't really do anything in this game, can only move up or down a place or so. So the onus is really on us to push through and try and win this game. You can see from the league table there, we're sat in 6th place at the moment, level on points with 7th place York. We can't really move up unless Mansfield lose heavily and we win heavily. But we could fall out of the playoffs to one of two teams with Aldershot and Maidstone just two points behind ourselves in York. But first, let's go and have a look at how we got here, what's been happening since you were last with me. We've played a few more games since that awful defeat at home to Maidstone. We beat Aldershot, who are our other rivals down there for the playoff place. Ryan Bird getting a brace in a 2-1 win. We then narrowly beat Barrow at home, who were 23rd in the league, I think, at the time. They've gone down now. Jonah Younger getting the goal in that one. We then had a really disappointing 3 all draw against Sutton. We came back from 3-1 down, but we were so poor in the first half, and we would have won comfortably had it not been for that. And then we beat Tranmere 2-0 with a much better performance. Ryan Bird again getting both goals. Before he then picked up another brace in a huge 5-2 win against Geisley. We were 5-0 up in that game. Again, Boateng had to come off with a slight knock. And we just fell apart defensively after that. But thankfully, we had a 5-goal head start in that one. However, in the last game, we just about helped Macclesfield stay up by losing 2-1. Adam Idar got the goal, but it wasn't enough. And I think that got them back out of the relegation zone. It didn't, but it's given them a chance going into today. So we've done them every favour we could. Ryan Bird still top of the goal-scoring charts on 30 goals for the league. And Mitch Brundle's got the most yellow cards, which isn't particularly something to be proud of. But with all that said, there's only one reason we're here today. We need to try and get into the playoffs for the third season in a row at two different clubs. And then if we can utilise that success to get ourselves a bigger move up into League 2 or maybe even League 1. Or whether it be into a lower league in Scotland or abroad. If we have a quick look at the jobs available now, you'll see there's not much at the moment. But after today, hopefully if teams have come down from League 1 or there's a few teams that are a bit uncertain or perform below expectations, there should be jobs available for us to have a look at. You can see there, there are jobs like Scunthorpe and Stevenage that are very insecure and it will depend on whether Stevenage stay up or Scunthorpe come down to League 2, which obviously looks to be the case in 24th. Don't know if I can bring myself to managing Stevenage though. But let's get into this game. It's against Blythe. It will decide whether this is the last episode of Season 3 or not. So let's go and have a look at our lineup for today. We're clear favourites to win it. I think I'm unchanged from my previous game off camera. It's Mitch Walker in goal. It's Pike, Parry, Boateng and Senior. The first choice back four all together again. Tracy and Hall on the wings with Ashby and Brundle in the middle. And a younger and Bird up front together. Bird's been in great form so hopefully he can do the business for us. We've got a usual assortment of rubbish on the bench. So let's get into it and see what we can do. You can see Blythe are playing the 4-2-3-1. Apologies if you're just starting to hear a bit of background noise. My neighbours decided it'd be the perfect time to mow the lawn. So if you can hear something in the background, that's what it is. We've got them to prove a point, so let's see what we can do. Hopefully we can get a positive result. A draw is almost certainly going to be enough because our goal difference is fairly good. Despite that heavy defeat, two Maidstone a few games ago. So it's just a case of hanging on, really, and playing defensively. Is that Mitch Brundle? He's trying to get himself an early yellow card. 15 seconds, he got away with it. But we wouldn't be surprised if he gets another one today. I don't actually think he's had one. I think he might have only had one since he's been back from his ban in March. So he has calmed down a bit, despite no changes to his role tactically. But here's Senior at left-back. Can we build our first attack? Bird's lost out. Is that Tyler? That's Tyler from our Stockport save. It is. From the golden generation, they've got Tyler Maguire centre-half. He looks a cracking little player on this. Let's get into it. A youngest throw and goal. What on earth is that? Does anyone remember Ibra Sakaja from season one? That looked a bit like him there. Nearly got out for a throw-in. But we've won the ball back again high up the pitch. A younger's got the ball 30 yards out, but Sinnott's made the challenge. I might have been a bit optimistic saying that was only 30 yards out. Probably more like 40. But Blythe are countering us now. They're coming down the left wing. Patterson to Hobson. They're causing us a bit of trouble. And Hobson, thankfully, is almost as wild as a younger with his shot. Although a younger's was a far easier attempt to get near the target. But 20 minutes in, we look fairly promising on the break. It, at least promising on the break, at least, I should say. And Brundle, the words aren't coming out today. It's Ashby in the middle. Can he get it back wide to Tracy? He can. Tracy up to Bird. Bird's got it down in a box. He beats Tyler. And Ryan Bird has put us 1-0 up. And surely that means we're going to be in the playoffs now. 
We're in a good position to take it at the start of the day. And now we're four points clear with both Aldershot and Maidstone drawing. I know what Maidstone are playing against Barrow, who are already relegated. And Aldershot have got Gateshead, who are just a place or two below them. But things are looking really good for us. As Blythe come forward with a throw in on the left. Tracy clears away to a younger. He holds it up for Bird. Bird goes over halfway to a younger again. They seem to be really frightened of the pace. And Tyler's not been quite as good here as he has been for us for Stockport. But Bird's given it away easily. And that's a big long clearance by Blythe. And it's got him through one on one. Walker makes a fantastic save. And it's a corner to Blythe. Well, we got done by the ball over the top a bit too easily there for my liking. The corner bounces around and they looks like they just had a swing and miss from Hobson. And Bird puts it out for a throw in. We're fairly confident so far. Gasp for breath after an action packed first 25 minutes. Brundle finds Bird, but Tyler's won it back off him and put Patterson in. But Parry does brilliantly there to mop up and get it back to Walker. Long ball over the top again, but Pike mops up for Walker and Walker clears long down the left. Not much happening here. Blythe are just pumping it forward along. And they look a bit dangerous, to be honest. Here they are, 25 yards out. Hobson's got it through, but it was blocked. It was a great challenge by Jack Senior. And it's another corner as Blythe starts to assert a bit of pressure on us. They've had 66% possession. And another corner cleared long by Bird. But they really are dominating that midfield battle. And it might be one of those games where we look at Gallifew coming the holding role towards the end. But a long distance shot's... Forced it out for a goal kick and we look fairly comfortable despite being dominated. Here Blythe come again with a throw in from the left to Connell. Hobson's got lost out to Brundle. Brundle with a big ball through. Bird's through one on one. Surely can he get it? He's gone a bit wide and it's straight at the keeper. Grimshaw will be happy to deal with that for them. They've had another injury picked up there at centre half as well. Hopefully the sub's not quite as strong. And it means we can take advantage with those long balls over the top. A younger again is having a poor game. He's had a few of them recently, to be honest. And Adam Idar might find his way back onto the sheet in the second half. A younger has got the ball from the knockdown from Bird. He's been left unmarked, into the box, left footed with the shot, but it's tipped wide by Grimshaw. And on the stroke of half time, we've got a chance to nick a second with Hall's corner. He's headed away to a younger. Can we get it back in before the whistle goes? Tracy will have a shot, surely, but it's gone long, high and wide. And it's half time, we're 1-0 up, we've looked fairly comfortable despite being dominated in possession. And we're just going to ask them to carry on proving a point in the second half. A younger finds by a 10, can we build an attack straight from the kickoff? The intensity is good with the closing down. Long ball over the top from Ashby, but birds never get in there as it's mopped up and back to the keeper for Blythe Spartans. Here they come down the left again, Hobson to Patterson, finds an easy ball into the silver and it's saved. He looks a good player to silver. But Mitch Walker's had another really good game. We're heading away again, but we're under so much pressure now. We will have to think about a defensive change as we only need a point here. Amos cuts it back to the edge to Buckley. Hobson's going to have a shot from here. And Mitch Walker again tips it wide. What a game that man's having when we need it most. And it's another corner for Blythe. They're sick for the game. Which Bird heads away and it's been brought back down the left. But Sinnott's won it straight back. He might be from our save as well. Sinnott, he's playing in centre midfield. He is. He played for Stockport on the Golden Generation as well. We're getting all the old lads in this run into the season. And five minutes into the second half, it's still 1-0 to us. And we're still in sixth place for the playoffs. York are winning as well because they're level on points with us. And I think one of the other two had gone ahead now. But it looks like it's going to be a fairly promising finish for us. Buckley finds Hobson. I don't want to speak too soon. He shoots from 30 yards, but that's gone a long way wide. And we'll be happy to restrict them to that for the rest of the game as we come up to the hour mark. We will think about a defensive change in a minute just because Hobson's getting into a few gaps in between the midfield and defence. And with around 20 minutes to go, we will make that change after this attack. It's a long ball forward by Blythe. Senior's won it again, but Sinnott brings it down. Hobson again in that gap, but Ashby gets the challenge in this time. Full straight to a Blythe player again. Law crosses for Patterson, and it's 1-0. It's time for us to start worrying. We've led in a goal. Blythe are on level terms, and we're one goal away from potentially slipping out of the playoffs now. We're going to make some changes. We're going to go all out defence. The Younger's coming off. We're going to put Galifuco in that holding midfield role, I think. Unless Coventry's a natural there. Which he isn't. I don't think we've got anyone else who can naturally play there. Just having a little look to see. No, we're going to play Galifuco then. We're going to drop him in as an anchor man. And we're also going to make a sub on the left where Ryan Hall's had a poor game for Pinnock. And we're going to bring Coventry on for Brundle because the last thing we need now is a red card. Bird will be up front on his own. And let's see if we can hold on for the playoff place. We've dropped down to 7th now letting in that goal. And Mason a lever on point. So if we let in a goal we will be out and down to 8th. Here they come again on the edge with Patterson, but it's blocked away and Pike shall surely clear here. 
It's all the way up to halfway. Bird's lost out in the air. He's isolated up there now. Coventry's touch is awful. And Patterson's in one-on-one, -on -one, but thankfully he's volleyed it over. We are living very, very dangerously now. I am so nervous about this one. If we don't manage to sneak into the playoffs, we probably will not get that boost to our reputation that will get us a Football League move. If we can do it two years in a row, we'll be a superstar at this level. Ten minutes to go. It's all about clinging on now. There's nothing exciting happening. We just need to stop them getting that one more chance. I'm going to make a couple more defensive tactical tweaks. We're going to be more disciplined. We're going to go counter-attacking for now. And we're going to press OK. Let's see if we can hang on. If we get another couple of minutes, we'll creep to defensive. And then we'll start time-wasting and everything. Right, we're coming into stoppage time. It's a throw-in on the left. They've got the ball into the edge of the box to Josh Law. And he's shot miles wide, thankfully. Here we go then, we're going defensive, we're going to waste time. And it's three minutes of stoppage time we've got to hang on for. There's just 30 seconds left, the senior throws into Pinnock. Ashby, back to senior. Long ball up to Bird. It's been mopped up by Blythe Spartans, but they've gone back to the keeper. And if we can keep them back there, they won't cause us any trouble in the last 20 seconds. But here they come over halfway. They've still got time and space, despite the two banks of floor and the one in between. Sinnott's mopped up on halfway. And it's been cleared by Pike. That's exactly what we wanted. Surely that does it. Where's the whistle ref? We don't need any Vergie time. And it is it. We've managed to sneak into the playoffs in seventh again. It was a really strong defensive performance, despite us not being at our best. And I am not telling them that's disappointing. I'm quite happy with that. They're not happy with it. I might have just cursed them around for the playoffs. But I've got to our objective, and that's the most important thing. We managed to sneak seventh ahead of Aldershot on goal difference. Let's see what they've said about the game. We were lucky to draw, but we defended so doggedly. And for me, we deserve to nick it. Wrexham win the National League. And let's have a final look at that table before the playoff game next week. We're going to be playing Eastley, who we drew against in the last episode, I think. It will be away from home. But you know what? We've got a chance. We've got the top scorer in the league. And hopefully we'll have 11 players playing in our favoured 4-4-2 again in that game. So we'll be back for that one in the next episode. If you did enjoy this one, please put a thumbs up on the video. You can subscribe to the channel below for regular content from this head coach series every Monday to Thursday at 4.30pm, as well as other Football Manager videos and content on the channel. A massive thanks for watching as always, and we'll see you next time.